Hello, Pie Man here, and today we'll be playing more Portal 2! Um, last time we kicked Gladys' ass, and she got put in a, in a, in a potato, and Wheatley slammed us. <laughs> um, yeah, he knocked us into a pit. Because he's a crazy motherfucker. Anywho, let's continue. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told.
The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. That's the head notes we know. <laughs> For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. That is too brown. <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Damn it. Uh, anyway, uh, actually no. Um, where's the way out? Oh, I fuck them, stupid. I'm just supposed to put on that. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Skip. And we're back. 
All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I'm sure if I put those in my calculator, it'll make a happy face too. Yeah, what am I doing? your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Yep. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> Brilliant. we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Wait, then why would you tell me? Good job. Uh. Oh yeah, of course there is. Skip. And we're back. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. 
because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Um, why would you need to put... Yeah, I'm going to ask. Oh, is that button been there? <laughs> may involve trace amounts of time travel. Yay. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
not supposed to go down. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back gold. No, sir, we did. Did you and me against the world, son? I like your grip. Puzzle could use a word. No. Now let's solve this thing. Yeah. Um, that'll be all for this episode. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you liked, and favorite and subscribe. <laughs> um, that'll be all for now. Bye for now.